Welcome back everyone. Well, the, I think we can safely say that weather is finally broken. Spring has sprung here in Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan and uh, so many things to get out and enjoy. And of course, one of them is one of the crown jewels of, of our region. It is the Toledo Zoo. Executive Director Jeff Saylor joins us now on Conklin and Company. Good to see you again, Jeff. Yeah, thanks for having me, Lee. Uh, last we talked on this show, I think you had just gotten here. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, been almost two years now. Hard to believe. Yeah. yeah we look the same, by the way. <laughs> Nothing has changed. <laughs> Time has stood still. Exactly. But, but so many things have happened at the zoo oh yeah and so many still to come oh yeah yeah we're incredibly busy out there we're always doing uh, new projects new exhibits mm -hmm. uh, this summer is a great example you know we've got our penguin exhibit that opens on the 23rd of May uh, that's a brand new exhibit for the zoo's penguins it's pretty cool because it's actually a walkthrough environment uh, the public will actually be able to walk in with the penguins in addition to seeing them underwater and the from outside the exhibit mm. so there's a lot of different venues uh, it's a, a great uh, new environment for our animals. This is one of the big ones, White uh, Penguin Beach. I've got the, yep. I've got the, the fancy yeah, uh, are. brochure here. Um, <laughs> what, what goes into deciding uh, we want to do uh, a new aviary or an African savanna or a new aquarium or a penguin beach or a flamingo key? Uh, what goes into it? This one, there was a number of reasons for it. The, our current penguin exhibit is very old. Uh, very outdated and it was sort of the thing where we'd have to make the choice between where, whether we were going to continue to have penguins mm. or we were going to create a new environment for them. At the same time we have the aquarium opening next year after about mm. a two and a half year renovation so it was sort of you know let's strike while the iron's hot and do this exhibit which is adjacent to the aquarium and make yeah. it one large aquatic complex. Yeah and then the aquarium's a, a major Oh, project, yeah. correct? Oh, I yeah. Mean, it's, uh, really a, a, a significant undertaking. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, and that's going to be amazing. That's opening in March of next mm -hmm. year, 2015. It'll have four times the amount of water that the old aquarium had. Uh, it, it's just going to be a spectacular uh, sort of uh, fix up of what it was before. Yeah. And people wonder sometimes about uh, tax dollars. This is where uh, you know tax dollars go, right? I mean, a, a significant expense as well, right? Yes, the capital levy that Lucas County voters have, have supported for so many years with the zoo is really why Toledo has an internationally known mm -hmm. zoo. A lot of folks don't realize that this zoo is known around the globe. Uh, we're currently in first place in a, a campaign with USA yes. Today. I voted the other day. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> vote, <laughs> vote early, vote <laughs> often. But I mean, I mean, leading, I mean, leading. against the Columbus Zoo, the San, San Diego, Diego Zoo, Zoo, the Bronx Zoo, you name Crazy. it. Crazy. Uh, this is a, it's, it's a very well-known zoo. Uh, we're also the second uh, zoo in the country for the, for per capita of memberships. There's, we're, you know, we have 58,000 member households. Mm that are part of the Toledo Zoo, which is just incredible. It just shows the level of support the zoo has from the community. And uh, I moved here some uh, uh, almost 30 years ago, and uh, the zoo is a shadow of its former self. I mean, if you go back two, three decades, Jeff, mm -hmm. and it goes to those projects that you talk You've about. Got it. Never seeming content to rest on the laurels. Always well, something coming up. You know, just like the city, you always want to be you know, refurbishing, redoing. You know, there's a lot that has to be done just to keep a zoo going. Uh, and like I said, with this capital levy that the, 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 the residents here of Lucas County support, we're able to keep it a really spectacular zoo. How'd you uh, weather the winter? Um, you know, lights before Christmas kind of came in before the brutal part. Yeah, we um, still had, unfortunately, we had to close two days in lights before Christmas. Mm -hmm. One of those freak tornadoes in, in November, mm -hmm. and the other was that incredibly heavy snowfall a couple of weeks before Christmas. Uh, neither of which there were so many it's really hard to I know what it, was, it was that one you remember uh, but we still ended up with over hundred and sixty thousand people coming to the to the zoo for lights which is huge uh, we ended with the total number of people using the zoo last year was around nine hundred and twenty six thousand uh, a huge number of people are coming from outside of Northwest Ohio to use the zoo, mm. so it's bringing dollars to Northwest Ohio. Michigan, is, of course, has always been a big, uh, a it big is, hub, right? but a lot of people don't realize Wayne mm -hmm. County is the second most important oh, county Detroit for attendance. Area. Yeah, uh, we're also bringing in a large number of folks from outside of Michigan and Ohio. So the zoo is really doing a great job of bringing people and dollars into Northwest Ohio. When you applied for this job, uh, did you realize, uh, and now two years in? Is it what you expected it to be, or is it uh, the scope of it even even more than what you thought when you came in? It's pretty similar. Zoos, whether they're large or small, mm -hmm. whether they're in big cities or small cities, uh, there's so much to them, 
uh, you know, the day-to-day -day may be a little different, but the complexity is the same. Um, they're not, a lot of people think all we do is, you know, take care of animals all mm -hmm. day, and it's actually mm -hmm. probably more akin to, you know, a small college or a, sure. or even a small town. I think about the landscaping, just, just the keeping up yeah, the grounds. The, the landscaping, and we have some of the finest horticulturalists you, right, could ever, beautiful. you could ever come by. Our formal gardens are outstanding. Uh, believe it or not, almost all of those plants are grown from cuttings from plants they saved from the year before that they grow in our greenhouses. But that is, that is a situation where we have you know seven or eight full-time horticulturalists that are out there taking care of all these plants, plus the seasonal help that we come in. That same group uh, has a big part in running lights, getting the lights up for lights before Christmas and taking them back down again mm -hmm. afterwards. So pretty incredible. I mean, the, the lights, situation with the employees that's almost a year-round thing isn't it I mean <laughs> pretty much I mean, <laughs> I mean we start putting them up in July and start yeah, taking, still right. taking them down in February at some so. point you know like some people mm -hmm. you know you wonder why it, it might be time to take down the lights you know when it is July maybe you're thinking just leave them up <laughs> if it weren't for the squirrels maybe <laughs> right right then, then you'd have uh, have problems but yeah. you have Penguin Beach in a couple of weeks yeah uh, Flamingo Keys something separate it's a separate exhibit we're bringing flamingos back to the zoo after over 30 years uh, we have 27 flamingos that'll be in a newly refurbished exhibit right as you come across the bridge over Anthony Wayne Trail. That also opens on the 23rd of May right with the penguins. Mm. And in the immediate future, just a week away, yep. you have the Dart Frog Dash. We're talking with Todd about you know, triathlons. This is not a triathlon here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a nice little fun run, right? It is. It's a fun run. It's a 5K. Uh, a lot of people are participating in it. We usually have a couple thousand people participating mm -hmm. in it. Yeah, sure. This year we are doing something a little different. Uh, we're asking for folks to sponsor runners and teams uh, with pledges, and those pledges are all going to help purchase the fish that will be uh, oh. exhibited in the new aquarium. Hmm. Okay, so a way to, uh, to pay that forward, right? Yes, or exactly. run it forward. And, and the Dark Frog Dash is uh, a week from uh, yesterday, Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And uh, they could also uh, go online and uh, uh, find a, a team to sponsor there and help help uh, get the fish for the aquarium. And find out a lot more about the zoo. There's so much exactly. going on. Have a great summer out there. Thanks a lot. Okay. We appreciate it. Jeff Saylor, t Executive Director at the Toledo Zoo. We're going to come back in just a minute. We'll celebrate Point Place in our community right after this.